welcome to my channel if you like my videos then kindly subscribe like and watch thank you let's start with problem 2.17 the statement of problem is that a 250 mm long aluminum tube e modulus of elasticity is 70 gigapascal of 36 mm outer diameter and 28 mm inner diameter can be closed at the end by mean of single thread on a thread screw on cover of 1.5 millimeter pitch so this is uh, this is aluminium cube aluminium cube having diameter outer diameter 36 and inner diameter 28 clear and this is the end uh, single threaded screw single threaded screw so given data is that aluminium length of the aluminium tube length of tube is equal to 250 mm the modulus of elasticity of tube aluminium tube is 70 gigapascal 17 to 10 is to power 9 pascal the outer diameter of tube that is 36 mm and the inner diameter uh, of the tube is 28 millimeter inner dia id of tube is equal to 28 mm the with a cover on 1.5 millimeter pitch the th pitch of thread is 1.5 millimeter place inside the tube uh, okay uh, a solid brass rod e is equal to 105 giga pascal so modulus of elasticity of brass eb is 105 into 10 raised to power 9 pascal so this is the brass rod that is inserted inside the aluminium tube since the rod is slightly longer than the tube you can see that this tube is slightly longer than this rod so uh, it observed that cover must be forced against the rod by rotating its one quarter of a turn before it can be tightly closed so this cover must be one should be turned one over four before it can tightly close determine the average normal stress in the tube and in the rod so we have to find the stress in the tube the first one is stress in the tube and the second one is stress in the rod also the part b of this is this is the actually part a clear and this is part b which ask you about the deformation of the tube and rod so deformation means change in length in tube and change in length in the rod so we have to basically find this so let's start with the solution first uh, as we know that we have to find the deformation and stresses so as you know that stress is equal to force per unit area or it is also as pl divided by uh, sorry force uh, per unit area i will write as f because force per unit area and deformation that is represented as PL divided by AE. So again we have to find areas of tube and rod. We have we do not have P. So we will have to find this. So let's start with the areas. So area of tube, aluminium tube, aluminium tube that is given as A tube a tube and you know that this having outer dia inner dia so its formula will be pi by 4 d outer minus d inner d outer square minus d inner square r uh, and d outer is that and d inner is that there so we have to put the value pi by 4 d outer was 36 and d inner was 28 so this comes out to be 
402.12 into 10 raised to power minus 6 square meter. So this is the area of tube. So area of tube is equal to 402.12 into 10 raised to power minus 6 square meter. Now we will move toward the area of the rod. So area of rod will be simply AR which is equal to pi by 4 d square and the diameter of rod is also given that is 25 millimeter square and that's give you 490.87 into 10 raised to power minus 6 square meter so now we have area of rod is equal to 490.87 into 10 raised to power minus 6 square meter we have find this we will now find the deformation deformations deformations in tube and rod so deformation in tube is represented as deformation T that is equal to P L over E tube into A tube. So we will put the value we do not have P so we will left P and the length of this tube is uh, 0 0.250 meter. We have we were we, we, we were given 250 millimeter so we convert it into meter. We have the value of E which was 17 to 10 raised to power 9 and the area is 402.12 into 10 raised to power minus 6. So when you calculate it, the deformation comes out to be 8.88 1 into 10 raised to power minus 9 P. So this is deformation with respect to force P. Now for deformation of rod, for rod, this deformation will be will be represented as change in length of R. Now this will be minus P L over E T E R into A R clear now why this is minus because you can see here that the tube length uh, this rod length this rod length is slightly larger than tube when this cap will exert force so it will compress so definitely the it, its length will reduce that's why the change in length of rod is minus pl divided by a r e r so again p is not known length of this rod is 250 0.250 because we have converted into meter and modulus of elasticity is 105 into 10 to the power 9 and area was 490.87 into 10 to the power minus 6. So you will calculate and you will get change in length of R is minus 4.8505 into 10 raised to power minus 9p. Now we will move toward the chain. We have given that again in this question we have given that uh, that the, when you tied it the single threaded screw on cover of 1.5 millimeter pitch but when you tied it the cover must force against the rod by rotating it one quarter of turn before it can tightly close so we have pitch p which is 1.5 millimeter so when you rotate one complete for one complete rotation of thread one 
complete rotation of thread it will cover distance of 1.5 so when you cover when you move it for 1 over 4 ton 1 over 4 quarter so it will be 1 over 4 into 1.5 millimeter that will that means that it will cover 0 0.375 millimeter so now what does it mean so this shows the change in length there now uh, as we know that change in length of tube is equal to change total change plus change in the rod why because this is the tube for example and this is the rod that is inserted in it and rod is slightly larger clear so when you exert force from this or this you can say so total change in this tube will be equal to the half of the uh, one fourth of the quarter of this thread and the change in length in the tube so that's why total change in tube is equal to change in length of change in length for one half part uh, one or uh, for quarter of this turn and change in the length of the rod so again so this change will be equal to change in length of the tube minus change in length sorry this is not sigma change in length of tube minus change in length of the rod so when you put the values so we have sigma t that is equal to 8 point 881 into 10s power minus 9p there and we have uh, minus we have change in length of rod which is this is minus so minus minus okay we will write minus 4.8505 into 10 raised power minus 9p so this again this multi will multiply with this and so it will be plus so 8.88 into 10 raised power minus 9p plus 4.8505 into 10 raised power minus 9p and this is the this is uh, 0 0.375 so again if we write in term of uh, fraction so we can say that this 0 0.3 are into meter so this will be equal to 3.375 into 10 raised to power minus 6 meter so when you solve this you will get value of p from this so that will be equal to or oh, 27.308 27.308 into 10 raised to power 3 newton so now we have fo this force p now the problem is very simple the first part a in part a we we were asked the first part that is uh, sigma t and we, that is known as p over a t clear so p is 27.308 into 10 to the power 3 and area was 402.12 into 10 to the power minus 6 so sigma t comes out to be 67.9 into 10 to the power 6 pascal r that is 67.9 mega pascal so we have calculated sigma t the second portion of part a was sigma rod that is p divided by a rod so again p is 27.308 into 10 to the power 3 and area of the rod is 490 0.87 into 10 raised to power minus 6 that will be minus as the sigma rod is in compression so it will be the minus sign that is in rod is in compression so that will be minus 55.7 
into 10 to the power 6 or that is mu minus 55.7 mega Pascal. So again sigma rod is equal to minus 55.7 mega Pascal. So this was the part, part A of the problem. Now for part B that is total deformation. deformation so so let total deformation t that was derived over above over here this you can name it as one and for rod you can name as two so when you put the value of p that is calculated below and put over the put in this one or two so put value of put value of p in equation 1 and 2 so you will get sigma t that's that will be 242.5 into 10 to the power minus 6 of that is 0 0.2425 millimeter that will be deform deformation in the cube for deformation of rod again you have above equation 2 you will have to put the value of p in that equation and this deformation in rod will be minus 132.5 into 10 to the power minus 6 meter or that will be deformation in cube will be minus 0. 1325 millimeter so conclusion of the problem is that we were asked to find the uh, the normal stress in tubes that we calculated normal stress in rod that uh, that is also calculated and then in second part total deformation in the tube and total deformation in the rod so this was all about problem 2.17 uh, thank you for watching your time and if you have any question you, you can ask in comment section.